Welcome back to the Nick Mo Photos Moto Vlog. And today, we're on the Indian. You know, after looking at my analytics, my most successful video is top 10 reasons why I bought an Indian motorcycle. So after listening to a lot of folks like Sean Cano and uh, the Think Media folks, it's not about what I want to produce. It's about what you guys want to see. And after looking at the numbers, you guys want to see the Indian. So here we go. Today we're going over to Citrus Park Mall. And we're going to go back to the parking garage that we took those stunning photos of the Road King. Put those here. And we're going to try to mimic that photo shoot with the Indian. I think, personally, it's going to look friggin' awesome. So again, I just want to thank everybody for checking out the channel. If you're checking out this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not giving you the knife hand. I'm actually just saying thank you. And, uh, it's been a heck of a ride so far. My channel's been alive since, I want to say October last year we're up to 168 subscribers I lost a subscriber which sucks wonder why uh, if there's anything any content that I can produce that you want to see Ooh, I got to get over right here hold on yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm fulfilling everybody's watching needs at the same time producing some pretty cool content so with that being said if there's anything that you want to see on the channel way oh I can go right here if there's anything that you want to see on the channel specifically hit me up let me know what we can uh, what video we can capture for you guys if you guys want to see any mods on the road master or the road king shoot me a note we'll see if we can make something happen been really grateful I had some uh, some great folks uh, kind of reach out and help me out with some things you know Black Friday was huge for me because I got my bars and a couple other things for the road king my Roadmaster is pretty much it's pretty much stock with a couple with a couple things. Um, got my windshield, the mid-rise bars from Indian, saddlebag guards, Roush exhaust. Um, I forgot who makes those. Not Ciro, but Custom Dynamics tow bag lights or saddlebag lights. Those things are amazing. But other than that, the Roadmaster is pretty much stock. Haven't done any engine work. Don't plan on doing any engine work. This 116 is more than enough for me, I tell you what. I would say maybe four years in. Because I plan on owning this bike for a very, very long time. After I get used to uh, sport mode or whatnot, I would definitely maybe do some cams. Here we are. And now we're gonna see if our spot is available. Ooh, it's still a lot of light out too, which is okay. Oh man. trying to think maybe over here or over well the sun's setting from over there so you hmm, let's see I think this is the same spot I was in last time All 
right, so we've arrived. Now let's get to it. All right, so we're here in the parking lot of the local mall. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to take some photos of the 2021 Indian Roadmaster. This is the same location I shot the Road King a few weeks ago. Put that up on there too. Got some killer photos. And now we're going to shoot the bike with the fairing. What I talked about last time is sometimes shooting with, uh, or shooting a bike with a fairing might pose some challenges because you can't really see the curvature of the bike or the lines of the bike of the body straight on. So we're going to be working angles, we're going to be shooting nice and low, giving it that dominant stance like we do with every motorcycle. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. So our current settings are 1 over 50th, F stops 2.5. Five, and my ISO is 400. Let's get to work. Alright, also when shooting in the parking lot, make sure you're aware of your surroundings, with your cars that are driving by, any kind of loud sounds if you're shooting with audio, you know, just some safety tips. Got it. This shot is sick. Check this out. This is a straight up profile shot. Beep it. That's gonna look awesome. Now I'm gonna try to get that same, the same spot I got that shot from. Shoot. Portrait. Back up just a tad. Get the full fairing in there. Yeah, buddy. So you got to look at it too. You want to look at the architectural background. And if it lends itself, these right here are the leading lines. Man. Big shout out to one of my homies, JJ, we call him Six, because he's always got our Six, man. This dude's the truth. Last night, we went out to dinner. Oh, no, Tuesday, I'm sorry. We went out to a local bike night, Bay Area Riders bike night, and uh, he parks alongside me. You know, we hug, we give our greetings or whatnot, and then uh, he hands me a bag, that bag or two GoPros, all the mounts, lenses, I mean the whole kit caboodle. And he gave it to me and he told me, he was like, hey man, I'm giving this to you so you can get more angles, so you can continue to do your thing and maybe ele elevate it to a different level. So the shots that you see from underneath the bike, facing underneath the bags, see the pipes and the rear wheel, that's compliments to my boy Six. And, uh, you know, put a little goodness in the world. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of times we don't know how to accept that. And one of my, one of my good friends, he was telling me a story about his grandma. His grandma always called him, hey, hey, you need any, you need any shoes? No, no, I'm good, grandma, I'm good. She'd call him every couple weeks, hey, you need any shoes? And the funny thing is, not realizing it, he was robbing her of the ability to give. And sometimes as humans, giving. Not only the feeling it gives us, but also to the need. So anyway, long story short, he lets his grandma buy him some shoes. And then that now that was the point of the conversation from there on out. How are those shoes? I got you. Because she was able to do something nice for him. So whether you're on the receiving end or the giving end, you know, analyze it. Let's put a little good in the world. All right. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to put up these pictures so you guys can check them out. Because I know sometimes at the end of the video, if you put up photos, then the little screen titles come up. 
So I'm just yapping right now so you can see the photos that we shot for tonight. But other than that, thanks for tuning in. Next weekend, we're riding up to Daytona, Daytona Bike Week. We're gonna meet up with a couple YouTubers. Uh, Just GQ, he's gonna be out there. Uh, Trey on two wheels, he's gonna be out there. He hit me up. So stay tuned, we got some good stuff coming. It's huge to the channel. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And other than that, thanks for tuning in. Nick Mo Photos, out.